Understanding a thematic curriculum can be a bit counterintuitive. It is quite different from the experience many of us had growing up. This video provides one example of how an IPC unit ties the various key subjects together in a cohesive learning experience for the students. We will let our grade 5 homeroom teacher, Miss Angie, explain how the unit Mission to Mars is conducted across the six weeks. The unit is centered around the idea, could humans, if they needed to, find a new home in our solar system? The students are tasked in a variety of ways to help solve the challenges of surviving and thriving on Mars. We began with our entry point that set the foundation on the challenges scientists and astronauts face during training. The students had to make use of collaboration, communication, problem solving skills, and physical agility to overcome these challenges. This was followed by our knowledge harvest where the students shared what they think they already know about space and what they would like to find out. In geography, the students researched the different landforms on Mars and discovered craters, canyons and the solar system's largest volcano. The students used this information to create their very own map of Mars. We tapped into our international mindedness by discussing the ISS and how different countries collaborate in discovering the mysteries of space. In ELA, we read many non-fiction books such as National Geographic's Fact of Mars and The Space Race. They used their writing skills to create news articles on events in space, diary entries as a perspective of astronauts on the ISS, and wrote friendly letters to NASA astronauts that will be mailed to them. In math, we combined our skills with a science experiment where we had to use division and multiplication to apply the formula mass times gravitational acceleration equals weight. In an experiment, the students had to select five objects they find necessary to take to Mars and need to convert its weight. This encouraged their understanding of how mass will always remain the same, but weight will depend on the gravitational pull of the planet. In science, we discussed what is needed on Mars in order to sustain life. The students realized that plants are a major necessity to life on Mars. The students researched what plants needed to survive and recorded their findings in an experiment with basal plants. They conducted this experiment independently by testing the growth of basal plants in two different types of conditions. For example, some chose to grow their basal plants in the balcony, some chose to grow their plants in dark areas, while others chose to grow their plants in the fridge. In our final science project, the students had to predict the challenges Mars rovers would face on the terrain of Mars. In groups, the students designed, created, and tested their rovers on sandy and rocky terrains where they then made a conclusion to their predictions, the obstacles faced, and how it can be overcome in the future. In history, the students had researched significant events in space and have used their skills to organize these events in chronological order. Finally, our exit point is a way for students to reflect and celebrate their learning of our current unit, Mission to Mars. In groups, students will create a model in a medium of their choice of what life on Mars will look like, taking in consideration our knowledge we've learned and the skills we've applied.